Am I showing up on the recording? That's a good question. Yep, it looks like I am. I, I see the bar jumping when I talk. Okay, good. See, now you know what the bars do. You understand my plight every <laughs> single time we go to record. <laughs> I think that's a great intro to say, hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Pokemon. We're back at it again. Uh, all we got to do today is, I believe last time we left off, is that we are just here to train up, is it Jex? Yes, Jax needs to level up. Toaster could use a little too. Yeah, but this is just going to be a basic leveling up episode. Um, and here's another thing that this episode's going to be. So, so people who do know, I recently put up a video saying good goodbye to Or Collection, and as if tempting fate itself, uh, my cat unfortunately died this morning. <laughs> so I woke up to that unfortunate news. So this entire episode will be dedicated to my cat. My cat who lived a very happy and long 14 years and gave me much more enjoyment than Orc Collection did in the one year it had. <laughs> so I feel it's only right <laughs> that the cat also gets an episode. <laughs> That's the way I see it. So Zen, uh, for people who have been watching Zen stream, uh, Mia the cat is the one who tried to warn um, our family that our other cat, Normie, had eaten was eating a fish she was a black cat so uh very good cat she did her best exactly she tried to save that fish which is is she's like that um god what is its name you're not gonna know the dom de louise cat from five goes west do you know what you're I'm right talking? i don't know <laughs> have you ever seen five Go goes west or uh an american tale I've seen an American Tale. Okay. Uh, Five Will Goes West is the sequel to An American Tale where Five Will becomes a... Out, uh, he goes into an old-timey cowboy town and it's the Red Dead Redemption 2 of... Uh, it's the Red Dead Redemption of mouse <laughs> movies that are animated. But anyway, she was a very uh, nice, loving cat when she wanted to be. Uh, she was also, of course, because she is a cat. There were times where she was an asshole, but it was always a very loving asshole. So... Uh, when we got her, it was, man, it was so many years ago. I have to think back 14 years ago. I can barely remember what fucking happened 10 years ago, let alone think back to like <laughs> the beginning of everything. Um, my brother was in elementary school and, uh, they found it like she had been, it was the weirdest fucking thing. If I'm remembering this right, her mom literally went up to a woman in school, dropped her off and then left into the woods. Oh, it is like the weirdest story ever of like I, I I'm pretty sure that was me. I know that we found her at the Anatel and uh, at the Anatel Elementary School and since then she kind of lived with us and she was great. She is a fantastic cat. And I'm sad to see her go, but you know, that's life sometimes. The important thing is to always remember them and keep moving forward. Just like we are fucking up these Magnemites left and right. <laughs> as if to fuel. This is a, an excellent just speaking of her. <laughs> because she's a, <laughs> These she, are the gladiatorial games in her honor. Exactly. Because one of the other things she did. So Normie is the other cat. If you ever listen to... I'm going to guess. If people are watching this. They've seen Modcast. <laughs> so if you ever heard like a random cat. That was my other cat Normie. And Normie, when she came into the house, Mia immediately hated her because she, um, before then, I would always pet her. And a cat is very territorial. So the second she saw another cat, uh, like, encroach on her territory, she got into, like, her old instincts and immediately, like, every single night and every single day, which is, like, literally, they would fight in the middle of nowhere. We would wake up and the entire house would be, like, fucking trashed. <laughs> like, there was nothing left. <laughs> And then we would always go like, okay, so one of these cats is to blame. And we would look at both of them and both of them would give a look of like, I didn't start shit. You should go talk to the <laughs> other one. <laughs> uh, so it's so fun. I loved them so much. She also was, uh, I think at this point she is, she was the oldest one of the animals as well. She was, because we have, uh, three cats well no four cats well we have three cats now we had four cats though <laughs> and then uh we have two dogs and a parrot that hung around and she was the oldest living out of all of them 
and she looked over the dogs. It's fun because you also hear stories of like, oh, dogs and cats fought each other all the time. But because she was training the dogs, the dogs would look up to her and be like, obviously we need to act like that. So we end up with dogs that are very stupid and act like cats. <laughs> so both Chloe and Pandora, which is my, my sister's dogs, act a little bit like cats and it's all because of her. She would also always give like a really good, like uh, when she hit 10, I will say she when she hit 10 years old, she entered the phase of like, fuck it, I'm just kind of done with all these new animals you keep bringing in. This is kind of <laughs> bullshit. I'm tired of dealing with these new ones. And every single time she would deal with like their kitty form and she'd like look down on them and goes like, okay, if you can survive to adulthood, then I'll look on to you. <laughs> that's a, that's a tough cat. She was a very tough cat, but she was a she was a no nonsense cat. She fought other cats. She was extremely loving, but she was also like very ter uh, territorial. There would be literal times when I would go into the kitchen, and she would I would like 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 uh, uh, lock eyes with her, and she'd be like, "I guess it's time for me to be pet getting pets right now." And she would literally make me stand there for twenty minutes in the kitchen, even though I came in for a banana. And she would like literally just <laughs> take my hand, and every time I'd be like, "Okay, obviously I'm done with you, cat. I'm gonna leave now." She would she would do that shitty thing cats do where they they like put up their paw for a moment and you like she she would like grab me my my shirt and she'd be going like no stay here and I'd be like god damn it you are so lucky you're cute right now otherwise I would not be putting up with this shit <laughs> and I would literally and then the only way for me to make her stop is for me to I would literally pick her up and then carry her like a baby like I would I would like like crescent moon her in my hand. <laughs> and walk around and be like, hey, mom, uh, look what I got right here. It's your like your second daughter because uh, my mom had uh, three kids and only one girl. So we always said that the Mia was the daughter and she'd be like, oh, there's my baby. And she would get uh, embarrassed and walk out of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It's it's stuff like that that I will always remember. Like today is going to be sad. There's just like no fighting it. Like, I woke up today just, like, wanted to say fuck everything. But I think I've literally been that way with every single one of my pets going. Because it sucks having to deal with it. In the sense of, like, oh, literally, sure. it hurts your very soul. And to keep on going is something else, but... Yeah, I mean, they're family. Yeah, exactly. That's the way I always see it. And that's also why I get angry at people that go, like, Oh, you should be... You should feel bad about treating these, like their family i'm like fuck you guys y'all are sad motherfuckers if this is what you're complaining about right now <laughs> yeah for real also i Jax remember there was one time on twitter where someone mm -hmm. was asking for help they put up like a gofundme like hey my cat got hit by a car you know yeah. and we need money for the surgery and you always get those one edge lords that's like just get another cat idiot <sighs> and it's like fuck you fuck off I would rather, <laughs> I would rather sacrifice you and keep that cat going. How about that? Yeah, it's like Jesus. The cat's contributing more happiness to the world. Clearly, exactly, more joy to it, definitely. And uh, I've never understood that mindset. I mean, obviously, you feel that way about a fish, but I think that's understandable because it's just a fish. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, all right, if you can buy an animal from a retail store for the cost of, like, a Snickers bar, then it doesn't deserve the same. To be fair, I think a Snickers bar has brought me more happiness than a fish would. Because uh, that Snickers bar will fill me right the hell up. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. You can't get that kind of enjoyment out of a, out of a fish. You just get momentary, uh, that looks pretty. And that's about all you got. That's all you got. Uh... Just to give some more stories as we continue to train our dudes here. As we continue to make these animals fight in honor of my cat. This is what I'm calling it now. This is gladiatorial combat. Zenra, get out here and fuck up this Raticade because I need you to... <laughs> I need something to hurt. <laughs> um, so when... Uh, so the reason Normie is allowed in my room or when I had it and why you would only hear her... Damn, you really did fuck up that Raticade, by the way. I'm going to stop yeah, man. this... You were, I'm you a got, sand slash now. I'm not fucking around anymore. See, sent, uh, you were gonna get 420, that extra one, that one's for Mia. Shout out to Mia as you grow up from to level 24. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So I used to always let Normie in because Normie is a very like do docile cat. She'll go, when I say go on the bed, uh, Normie, she'll literally stay on the bed and she will not move for five hours until it's time for me to go to bed. And then she'll go like, I guess you're awake. It's time for me to go on top of you. But every time I let Mia in, I'd be like, okay, Mia, you're going to go in there because I trust you. And because you're getting super jealous of Normie. And I just want to show you that I care about you equally. The difference is that Mia would literally, I would like be going, I would look away from the side and all of a sudden she is now on my uh, kids edition of the Bible looking <laughs> dead at me. And I'm like, okay, this is why you're not allowed in the room. It's because you're literally toppling over all my shit. I had a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards right there. They're on the floor now. <laughs> I, I would like, like, I'd be unable to like, look away. She also chewed wire. So I was always fearful that like, I'd look away for like a brief second and she'd chew away my computer. And I'm like, oh, if only you didn't do this, you could totally just stay here. I wouldn't mind. But that's not the kind of cat she was. So that's the way it is. Yep. Yeah. We're going to fight this Vulpix now. <sighs> now she joins the... She now, now she joins the pantheon of the other two cats, Toby, which was named before uh, the Naruto villain. Toby was actually <laughs> literally named after the character from the Kunta Kinte story. The, the, the roots, the, if, if <laughs> my sister named him after I, the, uh, his name, I guess <laughs> she had just seen it as a kid. So she's like, Toby's a pretty good name. And she was right. And we, we loved Toby. And the other one was Linda, which is, a. Uh... oh, actually I just now noticed that both the female cats were named after Spanish words because Linda is pretty and Mia is, I believe mine. Don't quote me on that. I'm Spanish, but I don't know full Spanish. I am trying so desperately to take Jex to the hospital and everyone just keeps trying to <laughs> fight me on the you're way. Like, uh, you like those movies where the guy is driving his pregnant wife to the hospital, but there's, there's fucking traffic everywhere. I'm like the, the beginning of Pulp Fiction and Jex is just in the backseat of the car going, I'm a Jesus, I'm a die. I can't go on. <laughs> you're going to be okay. <laughs> hey. Don't go to fucking sleep. That's Jex right now in the back scene. <laughs> Meanwhile, Toast is just full fucking asleep. Man. Toast would sleep through a bell sprout beating him to death. He would. He totally would. I'm just saying, Toast, this is for my cat. Can you wake the fuck up, please? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you ask. Try a little one for the cat. I'm just saying. Do once all this bell sprout is slowly gonna wreck our entire team. There's nothing we have here that can deal with grass. You're the only thing. <laughs> that bell sprout is getting jacked. It just keeps powering up. It does. It is. Uh... Oh god. Oh my god. Look how strong it is now. That's all it did. Are you going to be putting me back to sleep? <laughs> you asshole. Look at how strong. Is it just gonna kill me? Is this how our story ends? I can't do this. I cannot let it end this way. I am not about to let the the, the last 13 min minutes be ruined by a fucking bell sprout. I think that, that Mavis knows that you're sad about your... Because she is outside the door of the bedroom squeaking a squeaky toy as loudly as she possibly can. Violently and over and over again. No, the dogs can feel that. They can feel when you're just, like, not feeling it. I went to go check on the, uh, the other, the rest of our pets just to be, like, to... Because, you know, after every single passing of an animal, of uh, an animal, of our, of a pet of ours, I've always gone to go check up on them just to see how they're doing. Because I always know, like, it sucks for us, but I always wonder about what the other animal is thinking about. They're, like, they're just not going to be showing up anymore. So I went to go check on him and literally all the uh, Chloe, my sister's dog, was trying to do was she was like, you got to let me inside that house. My mom needs me right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> clearly, she was like going in between, like, open the door and then going to my leg going like, hey, 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 you going to be OK? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be OK. She's like, OK, fine. But I need I need you to open the door now. Let me in. <laughs> and I'm like, I, against my better judgment, I would totally open this door, but I can't do that. Not inside this house. But yeah. 
They can totally feel it. If, tell Mavis I'm going to be okay. Okay, I will. She stopped squeaking, so she must have felt it. She felt it. Feel feel my energy. We are on the same uh, title card for your, uh, for your stream. Oh, thank you, Toast. Toast was able to stop the Was that the crit? Part. Did you get the crit? No, I think he got a crit. That's why he like bypassed it all. So, yeah, that's the best thing about crits. Yes. Bypassing those stats. Now I'm just going to fuck up this Oddish. We ain't got time to switch out for anything. This Oddish must die from the name of my cat. <laughs> she would have wanted burn. it this way. She would have wanted it this way. She loved mo nothing more than to see other animals in pain that weren't her. <laughs> Except for that fish. I don't know what was up with the fish. <laughs> the only fish she cared for. She's like, it's pretty fucked up. She cared about a fair fight. She's like, uh... She's like the Goku of cats. <laughs> She's... <laughs> she only cared if the uh, opponent was on equal uh, f level. That makes our dog Pandora like the Krillin of the of our pets. Alright, I think we're good to continue on. I think that's everyone in there. So we will now legitimately uh, continue on with our journey now. See, we had a good training montage, and I get to have a nice cathartic moment. And get through all my feelings, because let me tell you this. This is for Cam, and Cam's going to be listening to this. Sometimes shit just don't go your way. The best thing you can do is just have fun and keep on going forward, because that's all we got left to us. Yeah. <laughs> I love the sentiment, but I also love that he's 10. He's and 10. your advice was, shit, don't go your way. <laughs> shit, don't go your way, kid. <laughs> That's just the way it's going to be. Uh, don't ask Chase what shit is. <laughs> Actually, ask Chase what shit is. If you're not. <laughs> but in all serious, folks, thank you very much for joining us for another episode of Pokemon. Thank you, Zen, for being here, as always. And uh, to, first of all, agreeing to just sit here and potentially... <laughs> There was about a 50% chance I was just going to break down and the last five minutes of this video would have been me crying in a corner. <laughs> uh, and to everyone else out there, just as a quick reminder, if you got a pet out there, give them a hug, give them a kiss, give them whatever you got, give them a treat, feel them right. That's my advice to you. And I'll see you when we're going to continue on our way down to where the fuck are we going? Lavender Town. That's right. Yes. Lavender Town. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. This one was for you, Kitty. This one's for you, Kitty. I'm also not going to be doing a goodbye song because I would literally not be able to finish it. I would be crying <laughs> too hard. <laughs> that's okay. I think that's fair. That's fair.